Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host as always. Today we will cover the moment when Tesla is achieving full autonomous driving and how this will change the public transportation sector forever. And for you guys or most of my viewers are from the United States actually on this channel. Um, for you guys it might not be as familiar knowing what public transportation in the masses means. In Europe, we do have that much more than in the United States. And so I'm going to go into some stats with you today. 30 million passengers use public transport every single day in the and the numbers are growing just in Germany, guys. When we go into Europe, there are 32 billion passenger journeys per year and this also includes 55% of those are buses. So a lot of people are using buses and this is a major market that Tesla can disrupt, not only by autonomous buses or autonomous driving robo taxi fleet, because I believe that um, the entire costs will go further down and we do know that they can compete with Lyft or Uber easily when they have full autonomous driving. So, just to give you a perspective what it means for us in Europe. There are a lot of people really upset when it comes to delays that we have a lot of times in Germany and then construction times that um, result in delays as well. On end, we do have a lot of situation when trains are actually canceled and you don't have any chance to get from A to B. So a ride sharing app like the Tesla ride sharing app would allow you to go from A to B with less stress. And the next factor is you have to go to main train stations and from these train stations you also have to walk or run at worst times um, to your home or to the place where you want to be. And this is also time that many people forget. So if I take 20 minutes to work, which is 40 minutes each day, it doesn't count the walk from my doorstep to the train station or wherever I go. So taking ride sharing apps, it would allow you to get picked up from right in front of your door and go right where you have to go in front of the door. Really nice when it comes to the winter time, but also when going at night or really especially train station at night are not the most comfortable place to be. So there's a lot of potential for customers that are willing to use such a ride sharing app and switch from the train or from any other public transport to a ride sharing app. Looking at Uber, there is a revenue or trips. Trips in this case, we have seen 6.9 billion trips in 2019. Of course, last year the coronavirus started and it was just 5 billion. Again, guys, Lyft and Uber are two companies being right in the market when it comes to ride sharing. But once Tesla is really announcing that it is happening, that we see full autonomous ride sharing, robo taxis as called, at that point, I think the market share of Lyft and Uber in this market will just go down. It is, it is not possible that both will stay alive. There will be one or two, maybe maximum three major companies being in there. And just think about Apple or any other company in the future entering this market too. It could be VW at some point, who knows? Some companies might develop the same technology when it comes to robo taxi fleets. So for Uber and Lyft, um, if you're owning the stock my, stock, my personal opinion is the future is not as bright as many people think. And they are not going to disrupt the market unless they are also possible um, making the full autonomous driving possible. So for Tesla, this means they are able to disrupt the entire public transportation, not just like the just not just like ride sharing. I mean, ride sharing is a term, guys. It is you can use ride sharing when you own a car. Still, you could do that. Um, but what I mean is the public transport, the people that don't have a car, the people that want to do it regularly to work or off work or whatsoever. And Tesla has a big chance to establish, establish itself 
not only with the Model 3, Model Y, Model S or whatsoever that is part of the ride sharing, the Cybertruck in the future can be part of it as well. No, I'm talking about a van or like a bus that Tesla will develop at some point. And those buses, when they have the full autonomous driving capability, having all these people sitting inside knowing where to go and what is the shortest way to the next st stop where someone wants to go because people are logging in in the app. So the um, AI will know where the fastest way to get all the people off. So, um, this is where AI comes into place and Tesla really is leading in there. And I'm just looking forward for the AI day. There's supposed to be an AI day this year somewhere. Um, and we might see um, future outlooks when it comes to things like that. We could even see something crazy happening that not only public transportation is disrupted by Tesla, but we could also see some kind of transport vehicle when it comes to delivering food. Just imagine if you have a car that where a, a restaurant or the websites that are um, having all these foods transported, you can put the food inside, it is staying warm, it is driving right to the place where it's supposed to be and you can unlock it with a pin and you get your food out and all is done. So that would be a possibility as well. Or the van that you just saw, the market that Amazon is actually taking care of here when it comes to transporting packages, transporting um, goods to consumers. There is also a market of middle class um, companies in Germany, for example, um, that do have to transport a lot of goods that are um, used in a van. And a van in this case is much easier sometimes as buying such a big semi. That's, I mean, the semi is for really big transporting goods here in a massive market um, for big, big companies. But there's also a market when it comes to smaller companies um, transporting um, especially smaller goods. So again, this can only happen um, when we have this autonomous or self-charging capabilities. And what you see here again is something we have seen many years ago, but Tesla CEO Elon Musk has proven that he wants to have that working here to um, achieve robotaxis fleet because many people forget um, robotaxi fleets are only possible if you also have the capability of um, cars charging itself. So this has to be as well um, possible at most of the charging stations worldwide. And so this will take as well some time to achieve that. Again, guys, we are looking here at Giga Austin and I think full autonomous driving or robotaxi fleet might come first in Texas or California the places where Tesla is well known and I think California could be a place because the density of Tesla cars is just amazing. So if you guys did enjoy my video, please do consider subscribing and I wish you all a wonderful day. Take care guys.